my shoebox friends this is Val I decided to give this another try I recorded this video one time before and when I uploaded it first I thought it was really blurry so I deleted it and uploaded it again and then it was displayed sideways and so I decided to start over from scratch and definitely record in landscape instead of portrait and Trish, I hope you're watching. I apologize. You watched the first video and you started to comment and then it disappeared and I apologize for that. Uh, this is a box that I packed for a boy in the age range of two to four. It has a monkey theme. Um, I use a slightly larger shoe box, but not much larger. Um, I decorated the lid with a Curious George um, booklet, paper pad booklet that I got from the um, dollar spot at Target. And what I did was I just removed the staples. I took the paper out. I put the paper in another book just like it, just put it on the ins, uh, you know, the inside loosely. And then I used the cover to decorate this lid. I just cut it down to size so that it would fit. And that's how I decorated the lid. And then the sides of the box to cover up the words and the logos. I used some Curious George stickers that I had in a Curious George activity book that I got a couple years ago at Michael's. It had coloring sheets and stickers and I used some of those stickers. On the inside, I used more of those stickers to decorate the lid um, a little bit and just added the phrase, smile, Jesus loves you. And so inside his box, he has a monkey stuffy. This came from Dave and Buster's. Uh, one time my family um, went to um, Dave and Buster's and had dinner and played the games. And I just told everybody, definitely pick out prizes that will go really well in my shoe boxes. And so this monkey, I love his colors. He is one of those prizes. This little boy has underwear two underwears, size four. I believe I got those from Amazon, they're Hanes. This little boy has socks and I stuck a real cute pair of novelty glasses in those socks. They're not sunglasses, but they're fun glasses. They say shine bright on them. And when you look through them, you just, you know, you see everything through kind of a checkered pattern. They're really kind of cute. He's got a pencil case. This pencil case is a metal pencil case. Um, and inside he has a glue stick that I put in a baggie in case there is a melting issue. And he has two double-sided colored pencils um, from the Dollar Tree, a pack that I got from the Dollar Tree. He has three novelty pencils, Gingerbread Men, uh, Toy Story, and Minions. He has a six inch ruler, which is a uh, snap wrist bracelet and the ruler has dinosaurs on it. Um, it has inches and the metric system, centimeters. He has a quick pen for safety for the little guy. It just has a click pen. And I got two uh, regular um, pencils here, just uh, number two pencils, good quality pencils. So that's his little pencil tin and he has um, 
In the bottom of the box, I have a dry erase mat. And so I have two dry erase markers here with a dry erase eraser. The dry erase eraser has a monkey on it. It's so cute. I got a set of these dry erase erasers from um, a friend of mine who is a retired art teacher. Um, they all had animals on them. So cute for this box. Um, I have for this little guy, a, take this out first, a activity tin. I got this on clearance at Kohl's. It says $3.19 on it, but I did not pay $3.19. Um, I had um, a coupon or Kohl's cash or something. Um, oh, I got this. I know what it was. I got, I had um, rewards, a $5 rewards, and then I also had um, the checkout um, lady was really nice and gave me the senior discount, even though I don't officially qualify for that yet. She was really nice and gave it to me. And so I paid a lot less than $3.19 for this. And inside it came with, it's a fingerling, fingerlings, um, real cute um, monkeys. Think those fingerlings fit around your fingers and that's how they get their name. They're really cute. And this one came with one fingerling and that you can play with around your finger and then also um, a set of jumbo playing cards. And I put a lot more things inside this tin. Some uh, wet wipes, disinfectant wipes. Um, this one has um, the monkey emoji on the front. Um, I got these, I got some for 15 cents at Walmart and then I went back another day and got some more for 10 cents. Um, just a little wrist bracelet. Um, this one says, Jesus is my jam. Just this little wooden monkey. I got a bunch of these little wooden pieces on clearance at Michael's. Um, just something, it's kind of sparkly. So just something for the little boy to have, to hold, to look at, to play with. And I have a little activity pack here. Um, it just comes with a little activity book, one sticker and some little crayons. I've got some tattoos and um, I got these tattoos from Oriental Trading. Um, I put the monkey on top, but there are other animal tattoos in this little baggie. And I included a note um, explaining that he could use these wet wipes for moisture to adhere the tattoos to his skin. So I have in here a, just a fun lip whistle. Um, I believe this is like a rabbit mouth. <laughs> Pretty cute. I have a little mini recorder. Playside Creations from Hobby Lobby. I have, this came with the tin, the um, set of jumbo playing cards, um, fingerlings, and his little fingerling. It's pink, but I think this little boy will love playing with this and putting it on his finger. It only fits my pinky, <laughs> but that's how you put it on your finger. And I've got just a little eraser here, a gingerbread man. Um, I have just a photo of my family and then I put a note to the child on the back of the photo and then I laminated it and so that is what I had in the tin. Um, I was happy with the amount of stuff that I was able to fit inside the tin, as well as the playing cards and the little figurine that, um, that came with it. Um, so this little boy also has a pair of shoes. I just got these at Walmart. I paid full price. They were $5.97. Um, inside the shoe, I stuffed his um, pencil sharpener. Inside the pencil sharpener, I put a little novelty eraser, a monkey eraser. He has another little um, 
Well, this is um, a, a lovey, a really soft lovey that I got at the Dollar Tree with a monkey on it. I just love how soft those lovies are. He has another pair of socks. And then he has this little mini monkey stuffy. I believe that I got this at um, Hallmark on clearance. Um, they often have these little, they're called silly scoops. And they often have these different little silly scoops on clearance at my Hallmark. So that is what I put inside his shoes. He also has a bar of soap. He has a cup. I get these cups at Walmart. They're 50 cents, normal price. Um, I think they're great for shoe boxes. I think what um, the target market for these cups, I think is college students that live in a dorm because they have the cups, the plates, the bowls. Um, and um, I discovered them when I was dorm shopping with my daughter and she um, bought some for her dorm um, and she, you know, gave them good reviews. So um, I packed one in this box for this little guy and inside I put a magic towel for his washcloth that has Mickey Mouse on it, his blunt tip scissors, and a, another monkey. This one is a wrist bracelet. Um, I got the this at Walmart along with another one that was a panda bear. And I think I also have, I'm not sure where I got it, maybe Walgreens. I think I also have one of these in a pink flamingo. I think they're great. Put it around your wrist, wrist and take him with you everywhere you go. A toothbrush with a, with a cap, a fork and a spoon. A set of animals flashcards uh, for preschoolers. Um, there's a monkey on the cover, so I thought that would be real cute to um, include in this box, but there are all kinds of animals on these cards. So the little boy can learn his animals and even learn the English word for the animals. He's got um, crayons. Um, jumbo crayons, a package of eight, Crazy Art from Walmart. He's got this little, um, this little soft, spongy car. Um, I got this in a multi-pack, I believe three in the pack or maybe four, um, after Christmas clearance at Walgreens. Um, there were several, this is a police car, but there was also a school bus and I think maybe a fire truck. Um, I can't remember what else, but this one has a little monkey in the window, looking out the window. It's real cute. There's also an alligator and a rabbit, um, in the driver's seat. So I thought that that car was real cute. A beach ball. Um, I got this one at Walmart, but I know that Hobby Lobby has, um, beach balls um, on clearance right now. And at Hobby Lobby, the beach balls, they're emoji beach balls, but they but they come two in a pack. And I think they're like $1.49 right now. So you get, you know, you get um, two um, in a package, making them 75 cents a piece. And this was a dollar at Walmart. He has just a regular blue comb. He has this little, um, mini activity book after Valentine clearance at Walmart. He has this book that I got at the Dollar Tree. I love this book. Um, this is part of God's Little Zoo collection and there's um, always two stories in the book. Um, this one has a story um, with a monkey as the main character. Um, the first story is actually uh, a story with a giraffe and an elephant. The giraffe is playing with this red ball, gets caught on the roof, and the elephant has to help him get the ball down, and it's really cute. The illustrations are adorable in these books. The second story is about a monkey who builds a tree house, and he invites all of his friends over, and all of his friends climb inside that tree house, 
it's overpacked and it starts to break and it does break and then his friends help him rebuild it. So it has a real good story to it and just lovely illustrations. And at the back of the book, there's even a couple of games, a maze and a word search and a coloring page. I got several of those books from the Dollar Tree. So here is that paper pad that I was showing you at the beginning. Um, and as you can see, the, the extra paper that I took out of the one that I used the cover, I just stuck inside. So there's extra paper in here. And he has um, an activity book that I made. Um, this is... Um, coloring sheets um, that I printed off a free um, coloring sheet uh, printables uh, website and their Curious George pages. Um, the um, cover was also included as part of that free printable. And then, so I got some pages from there and then another website, I got a few more pages. Um, all Curious George. And then I have the stickers left over from the Curious George activity book that I mentioned before and that I used to decorate the box. I had several um, pages of stickers left and I put several in this little activity book. And then I also added just some loose leaf paper um, so he has his paper pad that he can use to color and draw and put his stickers in, but then he has a few sheets of loose leaf paper so with lines so that he can practice writing. And last but not least, he has a play mat. I make these with scrapbook paper, cut the scrapbook paper in half laminate each piece, tape them down the middle so that they fold both ways, lay flat, and the back is just blank white and it can be used as a dry erase. And I put a little note on it explaining what this is can be used for. And this um, has bananas on it. Um, I think Samantha did um, an unboxing of her monkey box and in it she included a really cute shirt it was for a girl and it was a really cute shirt with bananas on it and i thought that is such a cute idea to include that in a monkey box so i searched around with what i had looking for anything with a banana on it or bananas on it and i found the scrapbook paper so i thought oh well for my play mat that's perfect and so that is my monkey box for a two to four year old boy. And like I said, this was my second attempt. Um, so I apologize if you started watching. Um, the first video I had uploaded, um, I did delete that one and I did it over. And so I would appreciate um, any comments that you um, would like to make, um, any ideas, suggestions, and I hope you enjoyed watching and I hope you'll tune in again. I um, always enjoy watching your videos and I'm inspired all the time. And um, like I said, I, I got the idea for including the Bananas play mat um, by watching um, an unboxing on YouTube. So I really appreciate you watching. Bye for now.